So, relegation, disappointing. Very disappointing. It's been a very disappointing season. I think um, on the whole, yeah, we've not been good enough. Uh, we put up a good fight. First half, we, we were poor today. Well, second half, first half. No, second half, we battled really well, really well. Um, but Lack so, of quality in front of the goal. Yeah, yeah chances. You know, I mean, Cookie had a chance at the end to suit. But yeah, at the end of the day, uh, whether we should change the manager sooner. Who knows, but um, we've not quite been good enough, unfortunately. Yeah, um, it's been coming for a while, to be fair. Um, it's been a bit of hope last weekend. Played really well against Peterborough, but uh, first half we weren't good enough. Um, second half we were but just lacking the cutting edge, really. And, um, quite a few nervous performances. Johnson in the back uh, wasn't great today. I think I'm mentally prepared for it, but here of all places, isn't it? It's a price. Yeah, I mean, it's not for the lack of trying at the end of the season. Could have tried earlier in the season, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's yeah. on the players. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, expecting to be fair. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, it's not just today, it's been all season. It's like 90 minutes hard work, doesn't matter. Like, it's just been. As far as I'm concerned, that's before we got to that. They, they did all yeah, they, they, they put a lot. shift in, and the fact that you've got someone like Laird, who's on loan, leading the like applause at the end, just yeah. speaks volumes. Like, he's not. He can go back to Forest Green and it's fine. Yeah. But in terms of. Here is, as we just say, ownership. Yeah. I mean, did, that, that's it. did, that's all it did Keats get any of his first choice targets apart from Cook? No idea. Literally, it's going to be a big summer. I don't know, it's, just, it's been coming for weeks to be honest. It's, it's just, I don't know, a culmination of a bad season really, I guess. It's a decent, decent performance in the second half. Gave, I think, given the limited squad that we've got, we gave it, um, we gave it a good try. Um, for me, for me, um, we should have brought in a, a good, experienced keeper in January. That's, I think, we'd be up, we'd be, we'd be well safe now with a good, experienced keeper. Roberts has cost us a fair bit. I mean, I, I don't want to have a go at the lad because he's got potential, um, and he, he's done well in previous times. So I don't want to be too strong on him. But, but you know, if you're a manager. Um, sympathy and stuff goes out the window. There was a clear requirement from Christmas to get a good keeper. And to be fair, Dunn, who's never had a chance all season, has come in um, in the last few games and frankly done nothing wrong. Who's to blame for you guys? I mean, so many things went wrong um, second half of the season. Combination. I think, I think it's been difficult since Dean Smith went and you know, changes. Well, I think we've had a lot of changes in management, but I think. I mean, Keats yeah, was a hometown. We, we, we want a manager that represents our club, and I think we all wanted Keats to do well. Unfortunately, he wasn't the guy to, to do it for us. Um, I don't think you can blame anyone. We're a small club. We're, you know, it's easy to blame the owners, it's easy to blame, but no, I think at the end of the day, we've just not quite been good enough. And um, yeah, let's bounce back the, the, for next season. Second, blame loads of bonds. Blame loads with Bonza, blame loads with the players, gutless players, blame loads with the managers, the tactical inept. It's just a, 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 a collective effort, collective effort. Yeah, um, I mean, Keats has to take a, a big share of it. Um, didn't sign enough proven players, but again, you know, he got more battling than usual as a manager here, but uh, Bonza needs to put his hand in his pocket, but it's never going to happen. Um, Whitney has to take a bit of the blame as well, I think, really, for some of the players like Lee and Guthrie that have been here that just aren't, aren't good enough. Um, but we need a, a big overhaul this summer from top to bottom. Um, yeah, it's just disappointing. Board. Correct. Board. Every, I mean, the chance at the end of like we want Bonser out, it speaks volumes. Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, you know, you got to blame the players, but at the end of the day, it's all the players that are there on the pitch. Yeah, they, they, if they're not good enough, it's not their fault. No, they're, they're the ones that are signed that are playing for the club. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of everything. I mean, Keats takes the brunt of this year. Bonser out, mate. I think he's sort of signings. 
of in January really confirmed it. We didn't improve as a side, and we've seen it from our, our running towards the end of the season. You see some of the squads that we play against. I was just talking to David about the squad that Southend had against us compared to ours, and it was, although, although they've been down there struggling, it's men against boys. Lack of experience is what yeah, you say, compared yeah. to them, the experience have got this level with the players they've yeah. got. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, a, it's an old phrase, isn't it? You know, pay pe peanuts and you get monkeys. But, um, and that's not trying to be unkind to the squad, really because there's some decent players there who've given their all, the Dobsons of this world and the Kinsellas Devlin. and Devlin who, um, you know, he's had a lot of stick but uh, by God he's got a good heart. Uh, um, but Bonser and the board, they should hang their heads in shame. It's tough one to take, especially here, isn't yeah, it? As well? it's, it's not nice. Oh well, we'll let the the fans have the glory, they can still think they've sent us down but we all know to yield the results of sent us down. Yeah, if it was going to happen, it was going to happen here, wasn't it? So. We'll, we'll see what happens next year. Do you reckon they can do it? Can they bounce back? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You've got to be optimistic. You've got to be optimistic. You? Yeah, we're Saddlers fans. <laughs> if you're not, then. <laughs> well, yeah, we've got to uh, hope for something. Yeah. We've got to hope. Yeah. We've got to just stabilise, really. That's the first thing we've got to do. Um, it's going to be incredibly hard. There's, a, there's hardly any gap between League 1 and League 2 nowadays. It's, it's very similar. We've just got to stabilise. As, as much as I'd love to bounce back, I think it's unrealistic with the investment more likely put into the squad, which will be minimal. Um, the new manager again in charge. Massively new squad. Um, it's, it's just a case of stabilising, I'd say, really, and push on from there. We've just got to, to really try and avoid dropping down two levels because we can't let that um, failing mentality set in, I think, really. Do you reckon they can bounce back? Oh, not straight away. We'll be down there for a few years. Unless something drastic changes, we'll be down there for a few years. Good away day at Vegan Forest Green, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's depressing, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely depressing. Well, I mean, you're playing teams like Leighton Orient, who were nearly bust about a year, like two years ago, and, you know, the, I, I, the only thing they're going to worry about is, is going again. If they go again, uh, we're in a... You look at, like, Wrexham, Hartlepool, teams that have done, like, gone down into National League and just can't get back out. Go on, go on. Yeah. Depends on the appointment, to be honest. We see who we get in. We need somebody, somebody like Keith, I'll take him. He's not a world beater, but we need somebody who knows League Two, and he, he knows League Two, so.